Hello everyone. I guess today's topic is how to make your PC run faster. I guess you need to fix your PC and it's like running really slow. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 10, whatever you are running on your system. Uh, it will be fine. These tricks work on any of them. First of all, let's just rather jump right in and go to step 1. Uh, you need to go to your search bar. It's here on Windows 10. You can find it over here in Windows 8 and uh, you can just search in the settings for Windows 7. And right now, um, on Windows 10, I'm going to show you. In this search box, you need to type in SYS dm dot cpl okay this is a control panel item i'm gonna click it and it will open up this window uh, the next step you need to do is go to this advanced section uh, after you go to the advanced section you need to open the settings under the performance option or menu whatever you call it i'll be clicking on settings and as you can see there are a bunch of check boxes that are ticked uh, you need to see which one you need and which one you do not these things like uh, really work as an eye candy for you uh, as if when you open a folder it animates the effects and it makes it look it makes things look good but uh, you do not need it for performance so what you I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click check uh, uncheck the ones that I don't need like this one animate controls and elements inside the window I do not need that that is gonna make my PC a bit faster so you can just skim through every one option in here and just uncheck the ones that you don't need click apply click ok and that's step one now let's go to step two uh, for that you need to open your task manager uh, for opening the task manager you need to uh, press these buttons that's control alter and delete and there will be a task manager option it will open up a window like this it might not be like this so you just need to open the full menu now you need to go to the startup option the one that's over here the startup here it will show you the bunch of application that just runs whenever your PC starts so I have this IDT PC audio which is important and this Java update scheduler which is not so much important so what I'm gonna do is just do not so make sure you don't turn off any important applications like this audio driver or uh, I don't know like Windows Defender do not turn that off that's really important for your PC it keeps your PC safe what you need to shut down like uh, the star startup impact you need to do is you need to right click on the useless or less useful apps and you need to disable them I have you can see here disabled 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 these all things are really I already disabled I don't know why I disabled Windows Defender notification okay it's the notification and that's not a problem so you just need to disable the things that you do not need uh, I needed the audio driver so I have enabled it I needed this touchpad driver so I have enabled it the rest is useless to me so I have disabled it so believe me it works uh, next step we are going to do is go to the power settings uh, you need to go right over here if you have a laptop you can go to right over here where it, there is a battery icon you need to right click it you need to go to power options uh, if you are not working on a laptop what you need to do is go to search bar click control panel and then go to power options power options same window see so now uh, in this there's a power saver and balance what you need to do is change power plan settings and uh, in that advanced power settings here you can see a bunch of things that are important okay there's these three options that's high performance power saver and balanced if you need your computer to save battery and uh, like go back on performance uh, then you need to go to the power saver option if you want a really fast computer then you need to go to the high performance option and then click on apply and then ok uh, that will just uh, make your computer work on its 100% uh, capabilities and uh, will not limit its potential next I have on my steps is go to browser uh, this is something that I personally prefer and uh, just want to share it with you you can go to the browser and click uh, write down C cleaner
So I write CCleaner, I press enter and I get these results. The first link on the screen is from www.periform.com slash CCleaner. Uh, I guess they are the developers. I'm going to click that link and there are two versions. One is free and one is pro. As any one of you might know, the pro version would be paid and the free version is, as it says, free. So if you want to get the best out of CCleaner, you need to go pro. And right now I'm going to go with free because it works for me. And I'm going to click on the free download. It will download a 9 MB file, 9 to 10 MB file from over here. Okay. And I have already downloaded and installed. Okay. I'm not installed. Yep. It's here. And so I'm going to show you how to run it. Okay, here it is. Uh, it says Windows and application. The Windows thing just goes through your OS and your system files and checks out and deletes all the unimportant stuff, the trash and the cache. In the application, you need to select which application you need to be cleaned, like in which application you don't have any important data or something like that. In Google Chrome, my internet history is not so important, so I'm going to click that. If your internet history is important, you don't need to click that. And just uh, make your preferences visible over here. Next thing I need to do is run CCleaner. It will, be, it will give me a warning. I'll click, press OK and it might take around 10 to 15 seconds and within that it will clean like 500 to 15 or 20 GB up to uh, in case you have too much trash uh, the limit I have seen is like 2 GB per clean from my PC last time let's see how much it does stand. okay until this is done let's jump to the last step the last step is you can go to the search bar and con type control panel when control panel is selected you see this option that's called troubleshooting in case you don't see such icons you see icons like this you just need to view by go to the view by select small icons okay when you select small icons okay okay this is a pop-up from CCleaner and it says it needs to close Chrome to clean the application I'm gonna click yes it is gonna close Chrome and clean it okay so let's get back to the final step uh, go to this control panel and click on troubleshooting and when you go to the troubleshooting you see this bunch of options in case you have a problem with the hardware or sound you need to click this if you have a problem with programs you need to click this right now uh, as you see this video is about slow PC so you need to run maintenance tasks a window like this would pop up you need to click next and it will be detecting issues now let's get back to CCleaner. It's still cleaning. Uh, I think it's done. Yeah. Amount of MB, you see? 2 GB removed. And it's really important that you need clean, keep your PC clean as uh, everything else. And uh, that's it. I guess this video will help you a lot. And if this helped, leave a like. Uh, subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.